So can you use a shadow with 50 inch ultra widescreen monitor? Well, let's find out. And the simple answer is yes, you can. There it is, this is the 50 inch ultra widescreen monitor, uh, 32 by nine. And uh, it's a 50 inch diagonal QLED, 50 inch monitor. 38, uh, 3840 by 1080 is the resolution, and there it is. It's working. We can go ahead and fire up uh, one game. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, fire up a flight simulator, if you will. Now, this is how it looks, you know, on the laptop, because the laptop doesn't support that kind of resolution. And you come over here, and there it is. You can see it, 3840 by 1080. And uh, we're going to go ahead and show you the resolution. There you go. Clearly right here, you can see it. 3840 by 1080, 120 FPS. So not only am I able to do uh, 3840 by 1080, but I can also do 120 FPS. Because this monitor supports 120 hertz. Actually, 144 hertz, and uh, yes, I can do this on with uh, with shadow, with no problem. Cloud technology works, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm just trying to prove to you and show to you that it really works. So let's fire up a flight simulator really quick to show you. All right, so here I am on the shadow. Clearly, as you can see. It's the shadow on a 50 inch ultra widescreen uh, monitor. Uh, everything seems to be running smooth on the user interface. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, select somewhere to go. Uh, we're gonna go over here to uh, LAX right here. There we go. Select right here, departure, and uh, we can go over here to land as an arrival, and then uh, we're going to try it out. Well, there it is. There's the F-18, ready to rock and roll. Um... This is on shadow, right here on shadow. Everything's at ultra settings, 3840 uh, by 1080, 32 by 9 ratio. Uh, it's pretty amazing. What I mean, what can't you do on shadow? That's what I'm actually asking myself is, what can't you do? And so far, I haven't found any limitations. All right, so we're going to be taking off here shortly. I click ready to fly. Let's look around the cockpit. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's close that down. There we go. We can move this over here. Put this over here, like that. I mean, you know, playing this on ultra wide screen, it just makes it more immersive. Now you can also play this on a uh, um, dual screen. If you have a uh, uh, two monitors, this thing supports two monitors, so you can use a dual screen if you want to. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, take off. There we go. Right there. This looks amazing, man. I'm gonna go ahead, throttle up. We're gonna slowly take off. There we go. 
Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Very nice. Let me zoom out a little bit to give you a better uh, look at the city. Yeah, man, this is amazing. And then people say, oh, you're limited with shadow. Trust me, you're not. Uh, I I'm really impressed with what I can do with this uh, service rental PC. Now, granted, it would be nice to see shadow upgrade to 3080 or a 3090. I mean, Jesus, you know, that would be most desirable for everybody to, to have. But so far, so good. Uh, I can't complain, really, honestly. I wasn't even expecting to even do this, let alone play this. Uh, you can also use a virtual reality with Shadow if you want. Um, let's see how many frames we're getting here, uh, just just briefly. 20 frames. Let's see here. 19 frames. But hey, it's still good. It's still great. It's still playable. You can go up to 30, 30 FPS, depending where we are on the... Uh... But remember, this game, it's all about the scenery. Uh, you know, I don't care if I'm playing it at 20 FPS or 30 FPS. Uh, I just care about the scenery. Now, granted, if they had a 3080 or 3090 in this thing, sure. It would have been a different story. But the point being is this. The whole point of this video is to show you that, yes, don't expect it to run at like a steady 36 or 37 frames per second with shadow. But you can still enjoy it on a dual screen and a ultra wide screen. Uh, in this game, it's all about scenery. You know, it's not a Call of Duty. You can tone down certain things on Call of Duty. But here, it's all about a scenery. And that's the whole point of Flight Simulator, to enjoy the scenery. And you are going to enjoy it here on uh, Flight Simulator, the ultra wide screen. I think this is still impressive, you know. This is 3840 by 1080 Ultra. Everything set to Ultra. Because I want the detail. I want to have all the detail in the world. And remember, we're using uh, photogemetry. It's being utilized by Shadow Internet. We're not using our internet. We're using their internet, which is one gigabit up, one gigabit down. Makes it even better. So, so yeah. Yes, you can. In case you're wondering, can you? Run dual monitors? Can you run ultra wide monitors? Well, there you have it. Uh, your answer is here. I just uh, answered your question, as you can see. And I'm doing it. And there you have it. Yeah. So, you know, again, before I end this video, I'm not, you know, affiliated by Shadow. I'm not, you know, sponsored by them. I'm just somebody who is uh, experimenting. I'm also going to try PlayStation 5 on this monitor to see how it runs and the Xbox to see how it runs. But uh, I'm just trying to experiment things and that's what I do. I try to give you my honest opinion on how something works and then you can make your own judgment whether this is something you might want to try or not. You know, I'm not here to tell you one way or the other. I'm just here to share my experience. And then you make your own judgment. And on that note, well, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice uh, weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys pretty soon. Cheers. Uh, don't forget, we're going to be doing a um, PlayStation 5 version of Cyberpunk uh, pretty soon. I'm not sure when, but sometime next week, I'll keep you guys posted. So keep an eye on that. Also, Uncharted 4 will be working on that as well. 
uh, most likely sometime maybe Saturday we'll see maybe Sunday but anyway I'll keep you posted um, whenever I decide to do it I will let you know okay and other than that I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a nice night and I'll see you pretty soon cheers stay safe stay healthy stay blessed cheers